Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you all of my current non-beauty favorites. I don't think I've ever done a video like this in all of my years on YouTube. I'm pretty sure I haven't, which is ridiculous because obviously like there's so much more to me than just makeup tutorials. So yeah, I'm really excited about this. If you want to see what I'm currently loving that has nothing to do with makeup and skincare then please keep watching so the first thing i want to talk about are these two books here and where they come from i'm a part of book of the month which is a monthly subscription box basically they deliver books to your door every single month it depends on how many you want you can get one to three books and it is like the most amazing thing i've ever discovered like if you're a book lover, like, you need this in your life. It's basically a service where a panel of judges who, like, live and breathe books pick books for you, and then they, like, let you choose from the books that they're picking. Like, they make a list every single month. I think five of them, I'm pretty sure. And then you pick out of the five which one you want. And then you can add one or two more books to that list, and I think it's only, like, $9.99 each book that you add. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's accurate. I'm gonna leave all the information down below because I'm like really bad with numbers. I've said this like a million times, but the girl is not the best with numbers. Basically, they have my dream job. They get to sit there and like read a bunch of books and pick a list of like what books they think is good for this month and what people will like and then just be like, here, here's a list, pick from it. Like that's my dream job. It's almost as good as like when you go on like the Food Network and you see people like taste cupcakes for a living. It's like one and the same. You know what I'm saying? These are people that know what they're talking about and they pick stories and books that are like hot right now, like that are like just really good and like in in style. I wouldn't say style because books aren't really style, but you know, they do nonfiction, they do fiction, they do memoirs. Those are like mainly, I think, the three that they do. And yeah, it's pretty amazing. So basically all that it is, is if you're a member, you get to choose one of the five, I'm just gonna keep showing you the two that I chose. You get to choose one of the five every month if you're a member and it gets shipped to you. And I actually have a deal for you guys right now. Hold on one second. Right now, if you use the code SPRING9, you'll get 50% off their three month membership, which I think is amazing. Like you should start off with that to try it out for three months and see if you like the subscription service or whatever. You get it for half off. So that's $24.49 for three months. And then, hold on, I gotta get my calculator. <laughs> That's 750 a month for each book, which is relatively inexpensive for a amazing hardcover. Let me see how much this book is right here, hold on. Usually the prices are on the books. I think the price was on the other one I had. Yeah, this book is $26. This one that I'm reading right now, No One Knows, which is by the way, amazing. Like I'm not even kidding, this book is so good. So good. These are the two books that I got sent. The Nest by Cynthia Sweeney. So good. And No One Knows by JT Ellison. And I'm the type of person that will literally read like three books at once because it just depends on my mood, like what do I feel like reading in the moment, whatever. But during my downtime, like I just love to read, especially me like as an anxious person. That's just something that really helps with my anxiety. I don't know why. It just does. I love books so much. I always have my entire life. Like, I've just loved to read since I was a little girl. I've loved to write since I was a little girl. And um, I know a lot of people don't like those type of things. Like, James cannot pick up a book for the life of him. Like, he just doesn't like to read. And I do. And if you're a book lover, which there are a lot out there, I just really recommend this subscription service. This is like my favorite service that I've ever talked about on my channel, like, hands down ever. Like, all of like the makeup ones and whatever, they don't compare to this. But yeah, this is great for those of you who are like busy, on a schedule, whatever. You don't find the time to go to like Barnes and Noble and look through all the aisles to pick out a book. You just love books so much. When I go to bookstores, I find it so hard to pick just one book. Like I will buy five and then it's like overwhelming because I'm like, well, like how am I going to read all these right now? Like <laughs> I always do that. So this is like amazing because you'll get one sent to you every month and you can choose from the five and I can pretty much guarantee you that there's going to be one book out of the five that you're at least a little bit interested in and I mean I didn't think I would be as interested in them as I am like when I first chose these two books but reading them like they're so amazing like these people who pick these books really know what they're talking about so I'm gonna leave the code down below and the link down below for you to check that out super super important just 
you need to read. Reading is good for you. Just do it. My next favorite, super random, but I just got it at Target like three or four days ago. It's this planner. It just says 2006 on it in like gold lettering and it has like this really nice, I don't know, I love this like, what is this called? I always want to say cardboard looking paper. I just love, I love this so much. And it is so like helpful. This is made by the Sugar Paper Company in Los Angeles. I don't know exactly how much this was. I think it was like 10 to $12, something like that. Oh, this is really hard for you guys to see because of my lights. In the beginning of this planner, you can put like your personal profile, your emergency contacts, friends and family, whatever, and like a bunch of other contacts that you can put in. I guess if you want to just have like numbers written down and not on your phone in case your phone breaks like mine does every other month, you know what I mean? So just to show you like what it looks like, this is like February, I hope that you can see this. Hold on. It's basically just little squares for the month and then on the sides they have notes that you can write. Oh my god, this is so bright. I'm so sorry you guys, but I can't like change the coloring like because then you won't see me. My camera is like not the best right now. I'm getting a new one really, really soon. I'm sorry. Um, but this is just a basic like planner. There's nothing really like spectacular that I'm showing here. But the point is that it has kept me so organized. And then at the end of every month, you can just it has like a bunch of sheets for the month that you can write like notes, which is amazing. Like, I don't know. This just has so much room. And <laughs> this just has so much room. It has kept me so motivated, so organized, like I'm not generally a really organized person, I never have been like my entire life, I don't know why, I wasn't blessed with those genes, and this is just really helping me lately, like it's so nice to plan your day ahead of time, like it just relieves a little bit of my anxiety because I'm always like, what am I doing today, and then like I have to like mentally like scan all the stuff that I have to do, instead now I can just open this up and be like, oh like I wanted to do this video, or I had to catch up on this, 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 whatever, I have it all written down, like I plan a week in advance. I don't like to do too much at once. Like I don't want to fill out my whole month like because that kind of makes me more anxious to look down and see like oh I have so much to do this month. I just like to go one week at a time. Of course everybody can do whatever like feels most comfortable for them but that's what helps me. I'm talking like in terms of my anxiety. You don't have to stick to just brown and gold. This is just what I chose and yeah it's just so nice to have like structure in my life and I'm just really thankful for this. I carry it around with me everywhere I go. Literally, I put it on my bag. I always have a pen. It just like makes me feel good. Next one, pretty self-explanatory and again, a little random, but just a journal. This is a journal with my name on it. Murat actually sent this to me as a gift. I love it so much. It has like a leather case. You can order something like this um, on like Etsy or something, you could just Google it online. I wish it had the company written down on here, but it honestly doesn't. It just says made in Los Angeles on the back. So yeah, I would like show you what I have written on here, but it's personal. I basically write how I'm feeling that day or like literally whatever I feel like writing down. Like if I feel like writing a poem, I'll write it down. If I feel like writing how my day was going, I'll write it down. Whatever I feel like letting out, I write it down in my journal and it like instantly makes me feel better. I know a lot of people aren't into writing. A lot of people are and a lot of people aren't, but like it's just something that you have to kind of try and get used to and you'll learn to love it. Like I just feel like everybody would love it if they would just try because it just helps like relieve so much stress and it just helps to like jot down all the things that you're thinking about because sometimes like it can just overwhelm you. You know, you have like so much on your mind at once. You just like want to explode. You're like, ah, but if you write it all down in the journal, like sometimes I do it like so sloppily and furiously if I'm mad, whatever, but it's such a good way to like get your aggression out, your sadness, whatever. It's just a really healthy way to get out your emotions. And then you can look back at it. Look back at it. Wow. Look back at it. You're like, wow, I've come so far from this certain situation or wow, January 13th, 2015 was such an amazing day. And I really missed that and I'm so glad I wrote it down in my memories and whatever. You know what I mean? It's just like really, really nice to have memories. I'm all about memories lately. Like I'm all about like writing stuff down and taking lots of photos, which actually helps me talk about my next favorite right now. This is the Instax Mini 8 by Fujifilm and I don't have any film left. I need to buy some like as soon as possible. That's how you open it. You just press a little button like this. It's literally the easiest thing ever. They have some settings here, like if you're indoors, if it's cloudy out, super sunny out, little sunny out, whatever, like you just set whatever you want and then, whoa, where's the button? I put my little eye right here, look at you guys. 
and then I take a picture. <laughs> and then it's supposed to print your picture from the top. It's trying to do that right now, but I don't have film. I love this so much. It's so like old school, but it like is the best thing ever in my opinion. It's so satisfying and comforting to me to like take a photo and literally have it in my hand within seconds and know that I can keep this like forever and hopefully not lose it. It's just different. I know like we have so much technology and like cell phones with like the best cameras now and blah 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 whatever, but literally like this fails us. This stuff right here, this fails us all the time. I know like if you back your stuff up on iCloud and whatever, it's helpful, but so many times like that's even failed me. Like I thought I did, but I didn't. And like I've lost like 10,000 pictures and I'm not even over exaggerating. Like that has happened to me so many times. And that's why I just love old school stuff lately, like journals and like stuff like this. I just love it so much because it's like in my hand. It's not like on an iCloud, it's not like gonna just poof and vanish if I accidentally hit a button. It's gonna be there with me forever. Okay, the next thing, coconut water. Lately, I have had a serious addiction to this. This is the Vita Coco Pure Coconut Water, never from Concentrate. This is the only one I drink. I don't drink any of their other, like, they have a bunch of flavors. I just, I'm not saying they taste bad, they taste good. They probably taste better than this. This has a very distinct taste. I used to have a serious, like, powery Gatorade addiction, which I'm kind of, like, still trying to come off of. Um, I just love to, like, drink stuff with electrolytes. Electrolytes, like, Powerade really doesn't have that many. It's like, basically sugar and salt, but you know what I mean. Because I always feel like it makes me feel better and, like, hydrated. I also drink a lot of water, like, don't get me wrong. This seriously makes me feel so amazing. It has so many more actual, real electrolytes than Gatorade or Powerade or any sports drink or whatever. It has, like, other things in it, like 100% vitamin C, like your daily value is in this little thing, like it's amazing, it's just so good for you. I don't know, I'm gonna read to you on the side, it says it's jam-packed with naturally occurring electrolytes, picked, cracked, and packed at the source, more potassium than a banana, no fat, no cholesterol, hydrate and feel great, it's just so hydrating and I'm all about being like super hydrated lately, like drinking a lot of water and a lot of coconut water, it just makes you feel better overall, it's good for your skin, care about having like clear shiny skin I know a lot of people have like dehydrated skin the best thing to do for that is drinking tons of water and coconut water if you can like the best super random I'm gonna zoom in on this but this is another favorite of mine this is my Casey Neistat ring I don't know if that's exactly what it's called I'll leave a link down below his wife created this her name is Candace Poole she has a jewelry line called Finn and then she has one called Minor Obsessions I think and that's where this one is from and it was like a hundred dollars but I seriously am obsessed with it it's just like his little glasses I don't know if you guys watch him I mean I'm sure you do he's like the king of YouTube he has these like <laughs> he has these like Ray-Ban type of glasses and then he has like this white paint that he put around it and it looks really like weird um, but he literally wears them like every single day and she made their ring look like that but it's like a lot prettier it's like all silver with like black enamel or whatever I don't know I'm just obsessed with this ring and it's just like a constant reminder to me to just like try and work harder and do more those are like the things he says all the time he's like one of my biggest inspirations and it's really really hard to inspire me like I'm not an easily inspired person I hate that about myself but it's true and he really is one of my biggest inspirations I just think he's amazing I think he's amazing at what he does he just has such a positive outlook on life and when I watch him it makes me have a more positive outlook on life I know if you guys have been following me for a while you know that I've been having a hard time in life especially with like my anxiety issues and stuff like that just a lot of stuff like within me that's giving me problems and he has helped me with that so much obviously without him even knowing so I just felt like buying this ring was like super necessary and if you're a Casey Neistat fan I just feel like everyone needs this ring okay so movies that I've been watching lately on Netflix I've been watching so much Apple TV lately I got Apple TV like a few months ago I don't really know exactly when but I got like the newer one and I'm like addicted to it just because it has everything like it literally has everything like the FX app the Netflix I have like every app ever like HBO whatever and I've been watching so many movies and movies that I've been loving are like the best of me. I know I talked about that in my last video, but in case you didn't catch that, that movie is amazing. That's on Netflix right now. Ask Me Anything, that's a very good movie that's also on Netflix. 
A Thousand Words. I don't know if that's on Netflix, but it's a really, really good movie I just watched with James. It's with Eddie Murphy. It's on the FX app. I don't know if it's on Netflix. You could just look up online. I'm sure you can find it. And also this movie called Chef. It's on Netflix. It's such a good, like, family movie, I think. I don't know. It's just like a really good... I like feel-good type of movies. I like movies that make you feel things that just have like a lot of emotions and like meanings and stuff attached to them. Those are just the kind of movies that I like. If you want to know like some of my favorite, like all-time favorite movies, I really love The Butterfly Effect, Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. Like if you haven't seen that, you need to watch that. It's with Jim Carrey and Kate Winslet. It's like one of my favorite, favorite, favorite movies. I think it's like so beautifully done. It's amazing. Um, and Cruel Intentions, just because it's been my favorite since like the 90s. Like I just love that movie. I rewatched it like a few weeks ago, I think, or like last week. It's a little corny, but it's just, it's so good. I love it. Okay, and last thing, two books that I have loved recently so far. I'm not done with this one yet. I almost am. It's called Big Magic by Elizabeth Gilbert. I got this from the library, obviously. I got a library membership, by the way, which I don't know why I didn't have until now. Someone who loves books as much as me, like, you can save a lot of money. You can save a lot of money by getting a library membership. I was like, I walk up to the front desk and I'm like, excuse me, miss, how much is a membership here? And she's like, it's free. And I'm like, what? I took out my gold pen and I was like, sign me up. But this book is so good. It will most likely change your life in one way or another. It's called Big Magic and it's basically about creative living beyond fear. I'm not going to do any like spoilers or tell you anything really about it. If you want to look into it, check it out yourself. Otherwise, I'll be talking for hours and hours and hours about all like the meanings and things that are inside this book. So good. Another book that I read that I read on my iPad. I have it on iBooks. My phone is dead. I'm just going to show you like the cover of my phone dead. It's called It's a Wonderful Death by Sarah Schmidt, I believe. I might be wrong. You can look into it. It is just such, it's a fiction book, but it is so well written. It is like one of the best books I've ever read. Like it is just so interesting. I read it in like two days and it's a pretty big book. Um, it was just so good. So, so, so good. Um, it's about like a girl who dies and goes to heaven but like she wants to be sent back like the grim reaper took her by accident and she wants to be sent back to earth and then like she has to go through all these obstacles they're like well we took you so you can't really be sent back sorry we made a mistake and that's like never happened in the history of like eternity and they like try and like figure out if she's like worth going back to earth or not and it's just so it's so good i know it sounds like a little corny and whatever like a kid's book but it's not it's like really really I have one more favorite I forgot to mention. This is my Young Living Essential Oils Diffuser. I took this from my mom. Sorry, mom. I will give this back to you if you want it and I'll buy my own. Um, basically, this is just a diffuser for essential oils. You put in water. You fill this up with water in here to the line. And then you put like a few drops of the essential oil. And then you press the button and it diffuses it all throughout your room or house or whatever. And it smells so good and it has so many benefits for your health. There are so many essential oils, so I'm not going to go through every single one of them, but I'm going to just talk to you about two of my all-time favorite ones. And they're by Young Living. Like, I think Young Living has the best quality essential oils. They're pretty pricey, but I really like lemon because it just makes my house smell so, so good and fresh and clean. And it's known to, like, kill or combat allergens in the air. Like, if you're allergic to dust mites or, like, pollen that's, like, coming into your house from, like, your shoes or your dog or whatever, it like gets rid of all that and it's really really helped me for my allergies like I have the worst spring allergies I'm allergic to like every tree every pond like I did all these tests and I found out I'm allergic to so many things like I always felt like I'm not allergic to anything okay yes you are I'm allergic to everything like outdoors it's terrible that has helped me so much I absolutely love it and then the next one is a lavender oil it is good for so many things. It is known to just relax your body, relax your muscles. Like when you breathe it in through a diffuser, it helps you so much. Like if you're having trouble sleeping, like I do a lot of the times because of my anxiety, nighttime is rough for me. Lavender oil helps so, so much. It just like gets you ready for bed or like just calms you down. Like you can do it throughout the day as well. Like if you just want to diffuse it throughout the day because you're just super stressed you're like about to get married in a few days and you're stressed out, I don't know, whatever people normally stress about. Diffuse some lavender oil and it will literally calm you down. Like, I don't know what it does and it also smells amazing. 
so it's a win-win situation. And that is it. That is everything. This video is probably so long, so I'm not going to add anything else to this video. But I will try to do this, I think, once a month or like every other month or something like that. Because I kind of really like not talking about beauty products for once. Like, this is awesome. I really, really like this. I hope that you guys like this video. Yeah, I don't think I have anything else to say except that I love you, thank you so much for watching, and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I will see you guys next time.